What's up everyone, we're back again with some more Gundam Evolution gameplay, taking our first look at Buried City, the new map and the new mode headquarters. We're going to be playing Rainzaku here as well. I feel that Rainzaku is a very good suit on this map. Uh, in the past, both of my Rainzaku videos were both on Thermal Plant, because I feel like that was my favorite Rainzaku map. I gotta admit, this might be my new favorite form. I feel like he does really well here. Um, you might not believe me based on that opening start there, we're just getting taken out by a Mahiru, but I assure you it will get better after this. Um, but, we, of course, Headquarters is uh, the new mode with only one map, which I did express some concerns about, and uh, I think other people may be sharing those concerns. Uh, I think they've increased the uh, chance to play this map um, with the current update. I don't know how long it's going to be staying that way. I heard someone mention maybe April 24th, but I didn't actually see that written down anywhere. Um, I mean, hopefully they don't keep it too long, because even though I do probably enjoy the map more than most, uh, I am getting a little bit sick of it as well, partially just to, due to the fact that uh, the matches can be really, really long. Uh, you know, you can go up to five rounds, each round taking five around five minutes, maybe a bit longer. Um, so uh, if you do get quicker matches, which are rare, it's not too terribly long, and we'll see how long this one ends up being, although I guess you can look at the video length and kind of figure out. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I do think the mode is, is fun. Um, I'm not really sure if my problems with it are just with the current map. That's why I do kind of wish we had multiple maps, so I could kind of judge it on those merits uh, instead. But um, it does feel a little bit stalemate -y. It's pretty common to get uh, matches where both teams will kind of trade back and forth, capping the middle point at the start for the domination portion. And then neither team can get that 50% damage needed on the reactor, which will cause it to uh, go all five rounds and take a pretty long amount of time. And sometimes that, that will be broken uh, by one team eventually getting that 50% on one of those rounds. But if not, it kind of feels like all of that long match just comes down to who gets the final domination cap at the end. Because if you're trading back and forth like that, you're both just getting one point per round. And then whoever gets that one point first in round five is the winner. So it can feel a little weird when, uh, you know, maybe your team got all four first rounds the cap and then wasn't able to get figures in the reactor and then you lose the whole match just because the enemy team got that one but uh that's how it is right now uh, i'll have to see if they change anything about it but uh talking more about this current match we did get the domination cap first i uh, died to that mahiru three times only one person who's killed me so far but we finally got through it the rest of my team in a bit better than i was so we'll have to see do a bit better on the um, reactor attack portion of this. Got a few kills now. Probably could have pushed it on that Mars side. Don't know if his hook was up or not. But either way, I think I had team backing me up. I probably could have kept going on and get the kill. But he does get the hook on the gun tank here. But me and Barbados both get the punish on him. And go ahead and start firing at the reactor. Got some time. New pops out though, so I back up. May have been able to stand a little bit longer. I did have a teammate there with me. Um, but already getting over 8% isn't bad. Uh, you'll see a lot of rounds where teams won't get really any damage on the reactor until maybe really late. So just a little bit of poke when you can get it is nice. Come here, pick up that weak ring Zaku, and I'm thinking maybe I can go in for the damage. But I hear someone approaching. I think it's that new Gundam again. Might have just been worth giving up my life. That is something I'll have to learn more as I play this mode more. How worth it is to just dive it. Uh, I did say uh, when I was doing my patch note overview, that was one of my fears that diving it would be a successful strategy. But I hadn't really seen anyone pull it off yet. Right there again, got in, got a good G maneuver, but uh, had to back up because of damage. But heavy arms, big triple kill there. Pick off that Marsai as the last one with a team kill. And now we're getting the damage going, just getting it up close. We got Mahiru, me, blasting away to a few others. It's close to 50%, just need a bit more. I did get hit once, but there we go. Got the 50%. Now it's time to back up for a bit. So you get 30 more seconds on the clock when you do get the, 50, the reactor down to 50%. But it's really only 20 seconds because uh, the reactor stays locked out. You can't do additional damage for 10 seconds there. That is another thing they may want to look at exploring for the mode because uh, getting an additional 20 seconds for getting the reactor... Um, doesn't feel like a lot, but then again, one of the biggest uh, complaints about the mode is that it kind of takes too long, so maybe that's not the right way to go about it. But here we are, dying to Mahiru again. I assure you, Mahiru is not really a Ring Zaku counter. I would say that's a, a matchup that should be in Ring Zaku's favor, but I'm getting outplayed right now. Chased that guy a little bit too hard, probably because he killed me three times before, and I wanted to finally get that kill on him. Uh, went right into his cannon blowing up in my face. Um, so now we've been kind of pushed back. We're under a minute left. This is getting, looking a little bit more difficult. Getting kind of close to getting my G maneuver though, so we might be able to open up with that. And they got Rain Zaku pushing in again as well. And there goes my hero. He's down. Might be my chance to get something happening. And I push up the left side here with Gun Tank. Here comes Barb just backing up. Gun Tank dodges out of the way, and we do get the kill on him. 
Going in now, and then there's a punch, a blind punch around the corner. I don't even think he was going for me. I think he's probably just going for gun tank, but I don't think he got gun tank. I think he only got me. I do get repaired. Still got time to go in. And then he goes for Jimmy, but Ashmore's still alive behind. I'm, I'm a little bit overconfident. I thought I could get that kill on Ashmore without needing to use my G-Maneuver, and he just barely got away with, like, 5 HP. Um, I want to save my G-Maneuver to go for people closer to the reactor to give us more time to shoot it. I think that was the correct play, because even if I used that Ashmore there and got the kill, I don't think we would have been able to get damage on the reactor. But either way, uh, we were not able to get anything more. But getting just that 50% is huge. That does, you know, give us a way to break the potential stalemate before it even happens. So we'll have to see how this continues going into round two. All right, back to the domination point again. Our team comp is basically the same. Up we'll to see if they switched up at all. We do have that ash bar, which I'm not sure if they started with at the beginning of the last round, but they do did have it at the end. And they got it again now. Looks like Mahiru has switched off, much to my joy, since he was kind of cleaning my clock during that last round. So now it looks like they've got the dynamics instead, which shouldn't be too much of an issue for me on range Zaku. You know, Rangzaku's biggest fear with snipers is just getting one shot headshot before you can smoke and get away, and since Dynamis cannot do that outside of uh, his charged G maneuver shots, uh, I'm pretty much in the clear against him. You can see there, I think he did get a shot of me while I was fighting that Rangzaku, but wasn't enough to get the kill. And right now we're still holding the point pretty well. Already 30%. That is one thing to um, this point. Uh, counts up a lot faster than the points in the domination mode since it's only a portion of the round. Uh, you can see we're already up to 50 after basically one and a half-ish team fights, so I haven't really been able to push in here, keep him zoned out pretty well. Maybe the switch off of Mahir was not the right call since he was doing so well against me. We're getting kind of aggressive here now that we've been keeping them off the point. Taname switches those pistols, not enough though. Rangzaku's still going to win those close-range fights. And now the time is ticking up on the point. I don't know if they're even going to have a chance to really contest the game. We might just get that full 100% just to start off. Still keeping them zoned out. And down the last percent. It's going into the extra time. And they're not going to be able to touch it. Which just gives us a lot of time for our attack. Over three minutes this time. Last time I think it was around two and a half minutes. Maybe a bit more. Now we've got over three. Trying to push in from this far left side again. Getting zoned out by a couple people. Let's see if anyone gets greedy and chases Dynamis. Does, but he backs up again right after that. Got those pistols out. Trying to go for the GN missile to pull me in. Now I got Mahu here to back me up. Let's see if we can get him. He's a little bit alone. And Gun Tank came in as well. 3v1. Didn't stand a chance. Now let's see. We got Core Fighter coming up. We might be able to push in off this. Mahu does go down to the Mar side, but I think I can get the repair. I do. That hook goes off. Not really sure what happened. It looked like it hit me. It must have hit Mahu's um, disabled body that was down because uh, nothing happened there. And now we're getting some damage on the core. Almost got the Ash Arm, but not quite. And right here, firing at it from far away, still getting damage. And I probably should have just kept shooting it, but I see some low health people over there. Decided to try and join in the fight a little bit, but I didn't get the kill on Gun Tank, which is really bad. Didn't get the kill on Dynamics either. He got away. And then I missed my G Maneuver. Still trying to get these kills. And all the damage I could have been doing to the reactor during this time has been wasted. And I still don't get the kill on Marasai. I'm missing a couple shots. Decided to smoke for a second, and he actually does get the hook on me. I think he timed that almost perfectly right as I came out of the smoke. And even with all that time we had, <laughs> we did not get the 50%. Partially due to me focusing the wrong targets. It probably wouldn't have been a big deal if I'd gotten those kills, but uh, most of them are a little bit too far away. Couldn't get those shots on them with the kind of the spread of the, of the gun from that distance. Uh, but we still have almost two minutes to just get 8%. At least, and once again, you know, we'll be happy with that. Getting the, the full reactor kill is nice, but as long as you get that 50%, that usually puts you in a good position. I'm gonna catch Gunting out a little bit far away. And I don't have my G maneuver for a while. Looks like the only one we have is Dynamis. Might be able to use it here as we're pushing up this long path. But he's up and close. Kind of push past, get some damage. A little bit of tickling from heavy arms as well, and we are able to get it. And we still got, with that extra 30 seconds, still got a pretty good amount of time to potentially get the full reactor kill here. They are pushing up pretty far now using a few G maneuvers. Looks like their dynamics got at least one pick. Unicorn has his beam magnum going. Now here's someone behind. Looks like Ashmore has pushed up really far again like he did last round after they got one good push. Sons me out with Napalm there. Still hear him around. Gonna go ahead and give chase, I think. No, I'm still trying to figure out where he is. Ultimately decide to ignore him. And maybe we'll try and push up this left side again. Catch Gun Tank out. 
Might be able to get ranged out here too. His smoke is down. Up on him. He runs in a gun tank. Oh, but I think he just nearly gets around that. But gun tank still does get the kill. Arsa goes to health pack when he misses. Gun tank does manage to snag it out from underneath him. And this is a few kills we've gotten here, but they've been pretty staggered, so they're probably respawning. Eshmar gets away too. I tried to chase. I end up having to back up. Can't fight gun tank when I'm that low. And now maybe we'll try for the right side instead. A few of them here. Could go ahead and go for that axe. Unicorn was already down, but I did get the Marsai. This is a good chance here. I want to pick off that gun tank kill as well, but then I'm getting shot in the back. Range Zucky went for the good flank. Looks like he might pick up the kill on heavy arms as well. He does, and that gun tank managed to survive through all that as well. I think we got the health pack. And now, we did get some damage on it. 36% left. It's not bad, but 20 seconds and only Barb's G maneuver to go, which isn't really a good one for um, dealing damage to the reactor, I believe, but it could kill, you know, their team and give us a good push. Gun Tank going for his Jimmy here. I think he was up too far when he went for that. He does, does get two kills, but he dies as well. And when Gun Tank dies while he's in his G maneuver, you cannot repair him. And then he gets the double axe there. Barb G maneuver did go off, but it doesn't look like he actually picked up any kills. Gun Tank nearly managed to survive. And that's going to be end of round two. But we did get the reactor damage uh, down to 50%. So this means this is going to be our last round. Either the red team has to get full reactor kill, or we just have to get the, dom the middle point and we win. All right, coming into our third and final round here. I'm going to be fighting over the middle point for the last time. If we manage to get the cap, that is going to be the end of the game with our win. If they get the cap, we're going to have to go onto the reactor defense, and they're going to have to get a full reactor kill to win. All right, it looks like things are starting for a little bit better for them. Last time, we did get the full 100% cap without them contesting and all, but they're already fighting over it. Looks like they got a few kills. Barb is down. Try to get a ton of damage to heavy arms. He does end up getting picked off by the Dinamis after I weakened him. And there's a few of them on the point. Looks like they've switched up again. They've got the Sodsby now, who is another suit I feel is very good in this mode. Uh, he fights well on this point. And then also, you know, when you want to push uh, to the reactor, it's really nice to have someone with a big shield to block damage. Um, so they did get the first cap already. Already up to 20% in just such a short time. Not actually sure if anyone's standing on it. I might have been able to go for the cap here, but I was looking for someone to get a pick on. Gun tank is over there, so he probably would have contested. This Exia pick is also new. Picking off our Mahiru, but I think we're in the pair. No, we're not. Gun tank and heavy arms capitalizing on that. Wasn't able to get my smoke out in time. And it looks like they may be doing exactly what we did to them last round. Already 50% for them, and we haven't gotten a single percent. Barb's going in, but I don't know if anyone's really alive to help him. But if he does get one pick, that would still be good. And I do feel like Exia is another suit that's very good at fighting for this middle point, but I do, from playing him myself, I feel like he struggles a bit on the reactor phase. Um, you know, especially if you're on the offense, you have some long corridors to push, and I think Exia kind of struggles with that. Um, also, I don't think you do a lot of damage to the reactor, because uh, beam daggers are kind of low, and you don't really want to use your abilities on it. So, but it is working out well for them here. Going up to 90%, not a whole lot left. Actually, it kind of screwed over my barb there. I threw out that, that nade, which did the knockback, and I think it actually saved Marasai's life. Then I charged right into that Sazabi's face. I thought I had my G-Maneuver ready for whatever reason, so I was planning on axing him, but it wasn't up yet, so I kind of just awkwardly was shooting away at his shield. And there we go. They did get the cap, uh, the full cap on the point. And now it's going to be our first time on defense. We do have Mahiru, who I feel is pretty strong holding this left area here. You can kind of hang out on this ramp, bounce nades off the left wall and down the ramp they have to come up while keeping yourself relatively safe. They also have that health pack down uh, below that you can quickly get to if needed. And they tried to go for a quick push there after getting after starting the reactor attack phase. Uh, we got almost a team kill, only Rain Zaku surviving. We got a few G maneuvers up, and the ones that aren't up are coming up pretty soon. Don't know if they ended up using any of theirs there. I think they may have wasted one. Looks like we've got Exia Transam coming in. He's got a pretty far distance to cross while it's active. People can see him coming. He's coming up here. Yeah, goes down. We did have to use Heavy Arms to get him. Go for this big axe and got three or four hits there. It might have just been three. We end up getting cleaning up there, and that's basically another team kill. Once again, just running Zaku alive, but he's not going to be able to push by himself. Used a few G maneuvers there, though. I think Mahiru also used theirs. So all we've got left is Sazabi and Barb. Barb's, I would say, is pretty good here. Sosby, I don't know as much. Um, it's, there's, you know, it, it, if he stays alive for a long time, he can do a lot of damage, but I feel like these fights have been going pretty quick, so I don't know how helpful that's going to be. 
Or Barb could definitely stop a strong push depending on when he, where he uses it. it. Looks like he's actually using it right now. I don't know if I agree with that. Pretty aggressive. He does pick up the one kill though. If he gets one more, no, not able to. Looks like that Marsa got the hook on him. They are still pushed back, so maybe it's all right. He's buying some time. Looks like Sosby actually used his as well, so we're out. This actually could be dangerous. We've got no G maneuvers. I think they still have a few. I think Heavy Arms still has theirs. There's something going off, I believe. Oh, they got the gun tank one coming in. And there's two, three, four kills from the red team on us. I do manage to pick up the kill on Exia, but like I said, he's one of probably one of the lower damage threats to the reactor itself. And there they go, firing it away. This is a pretty big opening. I don't have Axe to contest that big group over there. And Gun Tank's kind of alone, attacking from the low ground. Kind of indecisive about where I want to push. There's more damage on this side, so I kind of want to just keep them back. But it might have been better to solo push the Gun Tank and get the kill at least. But then again, I do feel like Gun Tank probably has a somewhat low DPS since Gun Tank's, you know, main utility is the fact they can hit everyone at once. So that single target damage on the reactor might be a little bit lower than uh, other suits. But we do manage to fight them off. They got it down to 68%. So one more good push could get them to 50%, but then even then they're going to be low on time. Looks like they're getting a little bit staggered here. Gun Tank goes down, Sosby goes down, and this is going to be tough. I don't even know if they're going to be able to get 50% at this point. Probably out of G maneuvers. Only three of them up. And yeah, I don't think they're gonna really get to the point in time. Need a lot of damage. Heavy arms would help, but he's too far away. And there we go. Valiant effort by the red team. They really pulled together and did a much better offense on that final round. But unfortunately, full reactor kill is very hard to get. And they weren't able to get the 50% to even contribute to that. There we go. MVP Ring Zaku. Like I said, very strong on this map. Bit of a rough opening against that Mahiru, but still managed to overall be a top scorer. Yeah, I'm curious to hear what all of your thoughts are on this new map, on the new mode. Do you share the, the majority opinion that it's perhaps uh, in need of some work? Uh, maybe a bit too long, maybe a bit too stalemate -y. I'm kind of form formulating my own opinion still, but I do think uh, if the mode itself is fine, I do think this map at least needs a change. But, you know, I would like to see another map as well to kind of, you know, further my opinions on that. But once again, I'm curious to hear all of your thoughts. But either way, that's going to be all for this time. If you want to see more videos, you can stay tuned here on YouTube, or you can also catch me live on Twitch. They still have the Twitch Drops campaign going on. Thanks again, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you next time.